H1B. So many guys uh, have many questions. Like when I did my BA, uh, I didn't imagine that I will come to America, but I have aim for uh, Middle East because I got offer letters in Bahrain and uh, other places in Dubai and all based on my CNE. But one guy called me and uh, uh, I'm just sharing my experiences. Uh, if I clear MCSC, you will send H1B papers. So I, I, I didn't surprise, but I worked, I took it as a challenge and then I cleared my MCSC papers by move to Bangalore and then because those were the days only internet available in Bangalore. Then I cleared MCS and updated the gentleman and then he sent H1B papers. Meanwhile, I have tried for a student visa as well. Uh, I didn't get H1B in 99. That is different story. I'm not explaining that. Then I realized if you have 16 years of education is enough uh, to uh, get H1B visa. I mean, education point of view. And you need to have 4 to 5 years of work experience. Okay. Uh, in any top notch IT companies or anywhere, I mean, but you should have a genuine experience in any relevant highly skilled labor because H1B is meant for highly skilled labor. Don't aim to work in MS office or a desktop support in USA when you come for H1B because it is meant for highly skilled labor. Point one. Point two, uh, after you finish your 16 years of education, try to uh, work in any of the IT firms. And then you have four to five years of experience, right? That's where we are at the point two. Then you try to contact the uh, Indian consulting companies in USA for to file an H1B for you. Okay, it takes uh, six months to. I mean, the documentation, and all the process may take eight, six months to eight months. By the time you get H1B papers, it takes almost a year. Sometimes in some cases, so you have to. Uh, continuously do hard work uh, once you have 16 years of education and four to five years of experience uh, in India. So don't come here without having any experience. See working in India is a beautiful thing because the guys expect you uh, to work hard and uh, the managers well trained you and then ex extract maximum work like three shifts or two shifts of work from one guy in one shift. So definitely like you, if you work in India, Singapore or various uh, Asian countries, so work is easy in, e in USA. So I'm not talking about work culture, but you have to work. Otherwise, uh, what do you do here? I've seen many guys without working in India, they make fun here. I mean, at work locations because they don't know what is work, right? So don't do those mistakes. Okay, that is one. Second. You, get, you have to get an H1B papers. I've seen many guys in uh, Hyderabad, uh, uh, they approach middlemen for uh, getting the H1B applications by paying the application cost to somebody. So don't pay, like I uh, recorded in the first video, don't pay any money to anybody. Because if somebody is offering a job, he has to bear all the financial expenses. If he is not in a position to uh, bear that then what is that you, you you can expect in USA once you land here so you will be in a huge uh, crisis if somebody is USA is asking money for H1B papers okay to file so in, either you can approach the guys there or here but don't pay any money I told you I'm, I'm repeating if you are paying a money to anybody or to coming to America for H1B it's unethical Either that guy does not trust you uh, or he doesn't have capacity to accommodate you here. So you have to analyze those two and don't approach the people who ask you money. You, you, you can straight away complain there in the local police stations if somebody taking a 5 to 10 lakhs to file an H1B. That is illegal. Okay, that is, I'm not talking about that. No, you have to approach a good guy and then submit all the documentations. And then finally you will file and it will pass through a lottery system and then you will get an H1B visa. You, you may get a query, I mean, uh, 221G forms, uh, refused. Reject is final thing, I mean, once it is rejected, sorry, excuse me, you cannot uh, approach it again, but if it is a refuse. And uh, that is point two is clear. Point three, once you land here, once you get a social security from the local government, then you are eligible to start applying for the projects or uh, start working. 
okay but there is no bench concept here you have to be very clear many people misunderstand that the employer in usa will pay me salary per month whatever the amount i am not mentioning here per month without work this is the concept in india in offshore projects your indian company might have paid you for maybe one year two years with no projects no work but they paid you some salary for two for no project time there is no bench period here you have to be very clear on that many guys misunderstand that point here that's why i'm stressing that so there is no bench here so you have to work and uh, employer for uh, employer has to pay salary if you don't have project for more than 2 months that is 40 business days after that your employer he or she must ask you to get out i mean leave the country or he has to pay the salary in either case if he is violating the rule you are also violating the rule 